Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm doing the assembly tutorial for the 3D claw machine. This project has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below. The 3D claw machine is available as a digital cutting file in Nicole's Etsy store and at the time of filming this tutorial it is available as a cutting die set only as a pre-order at the moment in Becky's store. And I shall link both of those in the description box below. So let's get started. I've got all my pieces cut out and I'll go through them with you now. So you can see here on my mat I have two poles of pieces. Pieces on the right make up the bottom of the claw machine and the pieces on the left make up the top part of the claw machine. And to begin with we're going to get started on making the bottom of the claw machine. These are the pieces for the bottom of the claw machine and I'll go through them with you now. So first up we have this piece and I'm actually holding it upside down. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to turn it around. And you can see I've gone ahead and folded along the score lines and put double sided tape on the glue tabs. That piece up there and those two knobs, we'll talk about those a bit later. Next up we have the front and the, one of the sides of the claw machine, the right side. And that other piece on the right there will fit inside that gap there. And this opening here is the part of the chute where the prizes come out. This piece here is the back wall and the other side. This is the top of the bottom of the claw machine. And this is the bottom of the claw machine, goes on the very bottom. These four pieces here are reinforcing pieces that go inside the bottom so that it's got some strength that you can actually put things inside it without the base of it collapsing. And you can see where I've gone ahead and put my adhesive. All on one side and they'll get stuck together like so. And those tabs will fold outwards on all sides and they'll go inside the claw machine like so. So there are two of these and I will show how these go inside the bottom of the claw machine a little bit later. So we'll get started now and put the bottom of the claw machine together and to start with we're going to put this piece together first and I've got the other piece there ready to go. So I'm going to remove the backings off these two side tabs. That top tab folds inwards so it's a valley fold but these two side tabs are mountain folds and you join it together like so and the shape looks like this. So now I'm going to talk to you about these holes in the top part of this piece and they are for the controls for the 3D claw machine. I've got these knobs here and what I'm using are going to be too small to go through. They're just going to fall through like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of cardstock at the back and that way I can still see where I can glue them but they're not going to fall all the way through. So this is an option for you too so that you can use whatever you wanted for your controls. So I'm just going to glue that into position on the inside of this piece and this is the only time that you can do this. There won't be a time during the construction where you'll be able to get into this part. So we're going to do that now. So if you've already decided what you're going to use for your controls, then you can put this, and if it's too small, you can put this piece in. And then you can still see where they're going to be positioned. So this is an option. You don't have to do this at all. I just had to because of what I wanted to use for the controls. Now we're going to get this piece here and put this control panel into, into position into the front of the 3D claw machine and you can see how it's going to go. These glue tabs are valley folded so they fold inwards and I'm just taking the backings off the adhesive on those three glue tabs and I'm going to affix this piece into the front piece like so. And you can see that it just fits in there perfectly. And that's how our front of our claw machine is starting to take shape. 
So next up we're going to adhere the other side piece and the back and that's all connected in one piece and it will go together like so. So we've got the short side, the short end here and I'm taking the backings off the adhesive and joining it to the other side there where the opening is. And then I'm going to join the shape up completely. Just pressing the tape firmly. So you can see this is starting to tape shape. I've turned it over now because I'm going to put it at the bottom in place. So that's what this shape is, it's the bottom and that will get glued down like so. So again, going to remove the backings off the adhesive. You could use glue for this project. You would have a, a, a better wriggle room to line things up. But for the tutorial, it's always easier using double-sided tape. So I'm just going to take my time to align this piece up on top of those glue tabs, putting the bottom in place as precisely as I can. The more precise you try and be, the more nicer your project will turn out. It will look more finished. So that's our bottom in place. I'm just going to go in on the inside and press down the glue tabs, making sure they're getting a good stick. So next up, we're going to put these reinforcing pieces together. So I'm just going to remove the backings off the adhesive in that center part, not the glue tabs. And I'm just going to glue them together. Now this would have definitely been easier to do with glue. So I had a little bit of a struggle here, but I got there. And then you'll fold all of the glue tabs out like so. And the piece will sit like that. So I'll just get the other one put together. Just taking care to line them up. Yes, I don't recommend double-sided tape for doing this particular part. You, it is better to do this part with glue. And so now we have two reinforcing pieces that are going to go inside of the bottom of the claw machine and they'll go inside like so. So this one goes over the opening that's going to be the chute and this forms the actual chute, this one. So I'm just taking all the backings off, all of those tabs, except for the ones on the top. I'll leave those backings on. I'm going to fold these glue tabs out and out of my way so I have easier access. And I'm going to position this into place. And as long as you've got it at an even right angle like I'm doing here, You can just put this into place as best you can. And you can see that's our chute in place. It also is a reinforcing piece so that the base of the claw machine can take weight. With the other one, it goes in the top right corner like so. Just do your best with these reinforcing pieces to get them into position. They just need to be straight so that you've got that square shape in the bottom left corner and the top right corner. So I'm just removing the backings off the adhesive of this second one, leaving the backings on the top glue tabs there, as you can see. And even though I'm fluffing around here for ages, putting this one into position, I still managed to get it in crooked. But I do realize and I fix it up. This is another part of the assembly where using glue would be better than using double-sided tape because you would definitely have that wriggle room to move things around and make sure they are straight. So 
this is where I realise it's not straight. So I fix it up. So that's our reinforcing pieces into position into the bottom of the claw machine. And I'm going to fold these glue tabs back over now because these are what we attach the top of the bottom of the claw machine to. And I have the top here and that's going to go into position on the top like so. So now I'm going to take the backings off the adhesive that's left and you can fast forward this if you like. And the top piece is going to go into position like so. And you want that hole on the bottom left hand side so that it lines up with the opening that's on the front of the claw machine. You don't want to block off the claw machine shoot. So just taking care to attach this as precisely as you can. And that's the bottom of our claw machine or the assembly of it pretty well done. So I'll put that to the side now and we'll move on to the top of the claw machine. So I've got the pieces for the top of the claw machine here. And first up we have this piece here which is actually the bottom of the top of the claw machine. Next up we have this piece here which is the front and one of the sides. And you can see where I've gone ahead and put the double sided tape on the glue tabs. And also around the window frame where I'm going to stick some acetate. You do not put any adhesive along the top edge. So this is the back and the other side and you can see where I've put the double sided tape on the glue tabs and also on the inside where I'm going to stick the acetate. But you will not put any adhesive along that top edge of the 3D claw machine. Next up we have the acetate pieces here and there are three pieces. There's this larger piece that is the front of the claw machine and it is five and a half inches by five inches and as I said it's the front it goes in place like so and then we have these two pieces here and they are both the same size and the size is three and a half inches by five inches and I'll put these measurements on the screen for you as well so I'm going to join the pieces together the front and the side and the back and the other side. I'm just going to join them together like so. So you can see that I've got the glue tabs for the bottom of the claw machine along the bottom and the top is has no adhesive on the top edge there. So now I'm going to put my acetate into, into position on the windows. So I'm just sticking that into place. Taking care to line it up as precisely as I can. So just getting this last acetate window into position trying to get it lined up nicely and then I'm going to close this shape up by taking the backings off that last side glue tab and joining that side wall to the back wall like so and you can see that that top edge has no glue on it I'm just going to fold that top edge out of the way and if you look inside there you can see exposed adhesive on the glue tabs that are facing inwards down the bottom there and I'm going to put this bottom into position from the inside edge. You can do it from the outside if you like but I like to look of it on the inside. 
So making sure that you've got that opening on that bottom left hand side and I'm going to push it down against the adhesive that's exposed on the inside edge there. And that's the top of our claw machine done. I'm going to fold that top edge back over and we're going to move on to the lid now. There are two pieces that make up the lid and I have them both here. I'm just working on this piece first and I'm going to remove the backings off these corner pieces and stick the corners together. Next up I'm going to take the backings off the other adhesive on the sides there and those pieces will fold down. I'm working on the long sides first because they will cover those side glue tabs or those corner glue tabs that we just put together and it gives the whole thing some strength. And I'm going to work on the shorter ends and do the same thing and we end up with a tray like a little narrow tray. I'm just making sure that it's all nice and square and even and then I'm going to move to this other second piece of the lid just removing the backings off these corner pieces and then I'm going to put the corners together just joining those tabs to the side sorry I'm just out of frame there sorry about that so now we have a tray that has scalloped edge and an, another tray that has strong sides so I'm going to glue that other smaller tray into the bigger tray like so and this forms the lid. Makes the lid nice and sturdy and strong. And you can see I'm using glue here so that I have the wriggle room to be able to get this nice and central into that bottom tray. And that's our lid put together. All you need to do now is put the decorative panels on, but we'll do that later. So I'm going to move on now to the claw and the pieces that make up the claw. The claw is made up of three pieces that I'm showing here and they have a fold down the middle. So I've gone ahead and folded along all of those three pieces, the score line down the middle, and I'm going to glue them together. Just ignore that red piece that's under my left hand. It's not meant to be there. I cut it by mistake from the wrong material but I'll talk more about it cut from the correct material a little bit later. So the pieces you'll need now are the claw pieces, that piece with the glue tabs just above my left hand there, and the other two smaller pieces with the rectangles with a curved end. There's two of those and they have a hole in them. So just putting together the claw, and I've cut it from silver mirror cardstock. Just making sure it's all glued together nicely. And that's our claw. Like I said, ignore that piece. Next up, we're going to move to this piece and put it together. I'm going to remove the backings off the tape on the glue tab and join that shape up. This makes the bar that the claw will hang from. These pieces here are the end tabs and I'm just taking the adhesive off one of them and gluing the other one to it, leaving one glue tab still to take the backings off. These two pieces here join together but only at the rounded end, the curved end with the hole. So I'm just going to glue that part together, only putting glue on the part with the hole. as I'm showing here. Just glue them together and they will fold, it will fold like so, the other end pieces. And then that will get attached to the bar like so for the claw to be attached to. So for my claw, I didn't bother about a tassel cap or anything like that. I just got my really small hole punch, punched a hole in the top of it and I made a little chain of about five jump rings. 
and I attached the claw to the jump rings and then attached it to that red piece that attaches to the bar, which I'll bring that in and show you now, and I can glue it like so to there. There is another way that you can attach the claw to that bar. If you go and check out DM's channel Cutesy Shelf and the video that she did where she showed her claw machine, you will see that her claw moves along that bar, which is very cool indeed. So make sure you go and check that out. DM also makes some very cute things with Nicole's files. So it's worth visiting her channel and subscribing. I'll put a link to her channel and that video in the description box below. So it's time now to move on to the guard piece that goes inside the claw machine which stops the prizes falling straight down the hole. This piece is cut from acetate and I have mine here. It will get folded like so and go into position on the bottom of the top of the claw machine. So on the inside of this piece I put a very narrow bit of double sided tape just to hold the piece together and I didn't want it to be noticeable so it's right down the bottom there and that holds that piece closed. Then I'm going to remove the backings of the tape on the tabs and put this piece into position around that chute opening on the inside there. I'm just going to pop that into position like so. So on all the real claw machines out there in all the arcade amusement places, this guard piece is clear usually, so I can recommend cutting it from acetate if you want that realistic look. And you can see here I've gone ahead and put the decorative panels on the front and sides of my claw machine. In the digital cutting file for the claw machine there is a decorative panel that would go in around this guard. I found that I couldn't get it to fit and I did speak with Nicole about it and she told me that it's not a necessary decorative panel so you can leave it out if you like. I actually wanted to put one in just to cover the tabs on the guard. You don't need to do that but you can if you want to. So I just altered the one that I cut. I just trimmed it down so that it would fit around the guard like so. So that's optional. You don't have to do that. You don't even have to use the decorative layer if you don't want to. Once you've got all your goodies inside your claw machine, you're not going to see those glue tabs anyway. This piece that I'm sticking in now is just one of the decorative panels from the bottom of the claw machine. I just cut it out again from the mirror board and put it around the chute opening like so. Again, all optional, you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. Nicole put the decorative panel in just in case people wanted to use it. So I have here the background that I'm going to put into the back of my claw machine and this is made up of small mosaic mirror tiles. I was able to buy these from a $2 shop here in Australia and I stuck them onto the decorative panel that goes into the back of the claw machine. This is something I wanted to do to give my claw machine a little bit more of a realistic look. And I wanted my claw machine to have a retro feel to it. So mine's very mirror, reflection, all that sort of thing. So I've got that glued into position now and I'm very happy with how this is looking. So I have the bar here that the claw is going to hang from and I'm going to glue this into position. There's no right or wrong way to put this, it's just how you want it to look. So I'm just removing the backings off the adhesive and putting this into place where I want it to go. Next I have the claw here attached to the other piece that will attach to the bar and I'm just working out where I want it to hang and I want my claw to hang directly over the chute opening. You of course can have your claw wherever you like and as I said before you can even have it moving along that bar as DM has done with hers. So that's in place and how I want it to look. Very difficult to show when the claw wants to not stay in position to show you. But you get the idea. So I'm bringing the base in now and you can see I've gone ahead and decorated mine. And I've even put a little door on the front of the chute there that opens and closes. I did that with acetate. And I put some magnets in so that it would open and close properly. And now I'm going to glue the top piece on the top of the claw machine to the bottom of the claw machine. So I'm just going to turn that over and you can see that I've got adhesive backings to take off here. They were there from when I put the top piece together. 
and I did that so that the gluing of the top to the bottom would be would look more seamless so I'm just putting some glue all over the rest of the base and some on here too and I'm going to line up the two holes of the chute and taking care to make sure there's an even gap all the way around and press it into position so that the glue can get a good hold and you're getting a good look around the claw machine as I'm waiting for that glue to take hold and I have the lid as well decorated to match in as well. Just showing that there and I've got claw machine on the front of it. And I have one more panel to put in place on the back. And you can see I've gone ahead and used the checker plate embossing folder that I have to give my claw machine that real retro look. And I also wanted it to match the arcade machine that I did a few weeks back. So these two will match nicely in my craft room. You of course can decorate yours any way you like. So just getting that stuck into position. And putting the lid on. And my claw machine is now finished. And I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. It has a very realistic retro feel to it. And I have some pictures in my closing comments at the end showing it filled with some lollies. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you feel inspired to make one of these 3D claw machines. I've not seen a cutting file with a claw machine before, so it was a lot of fun for me to make. So a big thank you to Nicole for designing such a fun project. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that I have previously mentioned, in particular DM's YouTube channel. Don't forget to head over there and check out her 3D claw machines. That's cutesy shelf. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.